Okay guys, today we got a really cool clutch we're going to pull. We're going to measure a giant snake too. So we just came up with a new system. So I'm going to go grab the people. We're going to go look at this. Look at the female over there. Okay, you guys, come on in. Okay. That's one. Hey, that's one. One, not number two. He's one and he's awesome. He actually helps us pull all the snakes. Uh, helps us take care of all these guys. Now this right here is a, a, a reticulated python. It's actually, we're hoping to make a bunch of worlds first out of it. It's a golden child, uh, it's, it's a golden child he, uh, albino. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, we're good. <laughs> we're having fun, don't worry about it. <laughs> so this snake here, we bred it to a motley. We believe, it's, this is a tiger by the way, and we bred it to a motley sunfire, uh, motley sunfire phantom. So we're pretty excited about that, should be really cool. And so, now we got to get the eggs away. The good part is this girl's been around for a while and she's she's actually made a whole bunch of world's first snakes. She made the first Mochino Goldens, the mo first Tiger Mochino Goldens. She's made the first Sunfire Mochinos uh, Goldens. First, uh, man, she's made so many world's first, it's almost amazing. And here we go again, making some world's first. You guys both seen us on Instagram? Yep. España. Oh, Spain? Yes. Oh, there we go. That's a, that's wow. a ways away. So, we're living the dream. We're going to pull up this clutch of eggs. It's off of a really cool snake. It's a tiger, golden child, albino, bred to a phantom, sunfire, possibly a super tiger. And uh, it's going to make a whole bunch of worlds first. Although I'm going to, I'm actually going to help cut a clutch from a friend of mine, a partner in Saudi Arabia. And so if you guys are following us, you're going to be able to see some cool stuff from Saudi. Got some plans from Zoo. Who knows, you might even meet a prince or two, so I don't know that is. Those guys don't like cameras too much, but they'll they'll, we're gonna, they'll let me play in their cool stuff and you guys can check it out. So we're going to pull this clutch of eggs. They're real simple. These eggs are all stuck together. The reason why they're all stuck together, anybody know? Ah, this is because when snake eggs are incubating, if they roll around, they actually will die. And so imagine this female wrapped around in the wild and a big... Uh, let me see, you've got to get it right. A big tiger, not a lion, because this is in Africa. <laughs> These are Asian animals, and that's where the lions come from. I mean, the tigers come from. If they get in a fight with a tiger and have to defend their eggs, if they're doing this, what could happen? The eggs roll around, and even if the tiger doesn't get to eat and, doesn't, and, and leaves, she, it's for no avail, all the eggs die. But instead, look at that. They got built-in security, and uh, I gotta be a little careful, especially, see there's one infertile one right there on the bottom. This female has made all kinds of worlds first. I don't think she's gonna let us down this time either. Although the clutch in, the clutch in Saudi Arabia that I get to go cut is, a, is gonna be only about 10 days away, and it's actually golden child to a phantom, uh, a phantom motley super tiger. So it's gonna have a lot of similarities, but it doesn't have sunfire, so gonna be really neat so I had to leave something for me right <laughs> actually he's a partner and he's a great guy and you guys will all meet him so anybody have any question about these eggs you notice something else right they're soft huh anybody want to guess why they're soft oh man everybody here is not following us on YouTube but you guys are so you already know the answer so the idea is that they're soft because as they we they, they're incubated in high humidity and don't forget, we're going to pull a giant. We're going to pull, measure a giant snake when this is all over. When the uh, humidity is the high humidity is what they come in. So what they do is they literally drink the water as they grow. So as they grow in the egg, the egg expands. And of course, with a shell, it couldn't expand, could it? Chickens, get what, chickens basically get all their nutrition and moisture in the egg. Although you still have to do those with some humidity. Oh, look at that! That there is a weird egg. Usually that's from the year before, but that one's not. It's kind of an infertile, fertile looking egg. And uh, so, the, so anyway, so these eggs will all grow about what, 10, about 40%? Yeah, probably. About 40 to 60%, depending on how much humidity they it suck in and all that. And uh, it's a nice clutch. How many eggs did you wish for, Tim? I know, I I, I was hoping for 35, but it doesn't look like we Looks got like that many. Looks like 28, my so guess. That's probably, probably 20, good. Maybe even 25. So what do we got? Yeah. We got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30 eggs. Nah, I'll They're take it. They're smaller eggs. So Perfect. That's 32 eggs she laid, but we only count what we keep. I mean, it's kind of like fishing, right? You don't, you catch a little fish and you gotta let it go. You can't count it. You don't get to take it home. So anyway, 30 eggs. Hope to make some worlds first. And it was awesome with you guys. 
And uh, if you guys want to watch, we're going to pull out a big snake over there, and we're going to we created a, a scheme to how to measure big snakes, and it's working pretty good. We'll see what you guys think, and we'll see hopefully if the snake wants to be measured. So we're going to measure a great big albino. She looks to be well over 20 feet, and I think we found out the way we've been measuring isn't as good. And I think that our big snake that we've been saying is 22 or 23 might be 23, 24, and maybe even bigger. So we'll be doing that soon too. So you guys better be subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell. And we appreciate you following us, and it's more fun. And hope you guys are following us on Instagram so you can get get in on some of the Living the Dream nights. Uh, you see the stuff all the time. So if you're if you put your if you all you guys post notifications on all our stuff, we'll really help you be able to jump in on some of that. So we'll see you soon. But I'm gonna go pull that clutch. So I guess we won't see you soon. But now you're gonna see you soon. Don't forget to click the bell because you just watched it all, right? Take care. Okay, so the idea of measuring this snake is really because we're gonna this ship, this snake might go to a zoo in China and they need to know the measurements because they're you know they're it's like buying anything if you're buying you know uh, you go to the supermarket you buy it by the pound if you're buying a snake you buy it by length and they want a big display snake and of course a picture can be made to look like you know I'm tall you're short you know <laughs> just depending on where we all stand and all that so the idea is that we take away all that gas by we measure the snake. We created this little runway here for the snakes to actually crawl in and they're all it's all marked off from here all the way down to 20, 24 feet because we may be, be, be measuring our great big giant snake. We in the back we have a snake that's probably a world's record. Uh, we haven't measured, we've never measured her and we're going to measure but today we're going to measure a pretty big albino right here. So let's see what, how hopefully she's in the mood to be measured. So here we go, look at that. That's a she's in shed, so because she's in shed, we got to be a little bit gentle because we don't want to rough up her skin. I think she's got a good disposition. This is probably one of the original white phase albinos ever made on earth. Am I correct? Yes. So she's about how many years old is that? That was 2000. She's almost 14 years old. Okay. Was it that late? Maybe 15 years old. Yeah, it's this 2017 last time I checked. Yeah, so we that won't... was it was 2000 and two and three when we made them first so so this is probably 2002 and let's see here girl you gonna she's a big beautiful come on you're not gonna give me grumpiness right ready one so we're gonna stretch them out we'll have to use an anchor here i'm anchoring you <laughs> look at the look at the size of her head here tim you want to get down on that end okay go down there one Come on, now it goes. Keep going, a little bit further. Okay, let's go. So there we go. So let's see how this works. It's worked really good so far, but we didn't have a crowd. Nobody to watch it go wrong. Now we have a crew to watch it go wrong. Anything can happen. Oh, there goes 15 feet. Okay, now here's the interesting part. There's a little couple kinks can make like over a foot and a half. Two feet. Okay. Come on, girl. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Come on, girl. So I can see already she's over 18 feet by far. She's Her head's already went past 18 feet. Oh, I got to get her to go the right way. Come on, girl. Come on, come on. Tim's not a scary guy, he's a nice guy. <laughs> she doesn't want to go that way. The question is, do you think I can get her to go that way? Okay, come on. Come on. You can put one of the kids over there. Normally, <laughs> Let's see. Oh, let go of her tail, Juan. Let's see if we can get her to feel more comfortable. And we'll try to get her tail in a minute. She hasn't come back one inch. Here she goes. Now she's coming back. You want to go back? You want to go backwards? Here, one. Help her. Help her stay in her lane. Maybe we can get her to go the other way. We're not that picky. I guarantee you she's she's. Okay, what do we got, Juan? Oh. Okay, she can make it to the end all day. Oh, right she now. could. She could make it a foot past the end with all the kinks. She's almost there anyway. Okay. She's 20 foot three. Wow. Wow. 
So she's over 20 foot long. So she's a slightly over 20 foot long. I can't pull on her as much as I normally would. Normally I can kind of stretch her out, but I don't want her to tear her skin. And I say tear her skin, it's just a shed. Because if you tear the shed a little bit before it's supposed to come off, it makes a little spot. It sheds away the next time. They all get perfect sheds. Regardless, that's why snakes are constantly changing out their skin. Believe it or not, that snake can be a lot of work. Anyway, I hope you guys had fun. And uh, we'll, we're going to, if a few of you want to check it out, we'll show you a few snakes on the other side, some real colorful ones. <sighs> okay, guys. Anyway, <laughs> let's go see if we can see a couple snakes real quick. Nobody wants to get back to snakes. They're all just hanging out holding snakes. It's a party. <laughs> Taking pictures, selfies. There's Laura. Where'd you go, Laura? I saw you hiding. <laughs> Busy day.